Hey Bears, Eric here, and I can't believe it, it has happened again, and that is we have another Chud Tuber, another Griff Tuber, having to walk back their comments, their astroturfing, all their negativity on the X-Men 97 series. Now, if you do not remember, just the other day, we talked about Yellow Flash, who was one of the biggest astroturfers, uh, one of the biggest people talking negatively about X-Men 97 before the show came out, actually made a public apology to Twitter a very short, quick apology, which I don't think he's mentioned it on uh, videos or anything. I haven't seen any video clips or anything like that circulating, so I don't know for sure. But he did make a public apology on Twitter and then quickly went back to doing live streams with Gay Wolverine in it. So who knows where he stands now? But he made a public apology. Has to be humiliating. He'd been astroturfing the show for two years, talking about Bo DeMaio for two years. And we have it again here with another big player in the Chud space, a Demion, who uh, has made... Uh, two or three videos, we'll look here in a second, two or three videos about X-Men 97, uh, but he's been on several live streams, he's been very vocal on social media about this series, and about how it was going to be woke, and was going to destroy everything, and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, you know, the whole song and dance. So here is his public apology. Um, I'm actually surprised he's doing this. I am literally shocked right now. I don't have a lot of time, so I don't have time to edit this, uh, which is why I'm not on video. But I'm literally shocked that he is making a public apology. It says, I finally got caught up with X-Men 97, and I gotta admit, I was wrong. I thought Disney would somehow ruin this, but the show is easily the best thing they've done since Endgame. So that statement alone should tell you, if you're somebody that follows these guys, you're someone who is in this space, you need to realize they are not gurus of this kind of media. They are not some savant people that understand everything that needs to happen with superhero content, with fantasy content, with sci-fi content, what makes it bad, what makes it good. They don't know. And they certainly don't know when you're astroturfing and talking about it before the stuff even comes out based on very little things. There wasn't a lot of material for X-Men 97. We had some statements from the creators. We had some still shots that came out and a few character profiles. And that's it. We didn't have a lot prior to the show getting released, so it was absolutely egregious that they were even engaging in it in the first place. This first paragraph should tell you, do not listen to these people. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They don't even know what it is they like and don't like. They are simply playing the algorithm, which is what I've talked about for a while. It goes on here to say, everyone feels authentic as if they never missed a beat and the story is great. No idea if they can keep this up in the future, but if it's anything, this is what we want from Marvel uh, and the MCU as well. Surprise, surprise. If you would have waited till the cartoon came out and at least watched a handful of episodes before you started going scorched earth, you would have known that and not made yourself look really stupid. This to me is a very clear and obvious sign that what they're doing with you guys, anybody who's watching this, if you're a fan of their content, they do not give a fuck. They're not, they don't care about this stuff. If they're astroturfing it, if they're, if they're being prejudiced about the content before it comes out, they do not care about it. At the very least, if you don't like something, if you want to be negative about something, at least engage in the content first before you do it. That's all I ask. I think that's all what a lot of people in my space would ask is to actually go out and engage in the content first and then make your decision about it. Because it's not about a culture war thing. They're like, oh, we want to boycott it. We don't want to see this, that, and the other. Well, if you don't, then don't even talk about it. There's no point. If you're not going to engage in it and you're going to be a commentary person here on YouTube, you need to understand that that leaves you at a disadvantage which is why this is happening in the first place. And then he goes on here to sort of continue to dog whistle at his fan base and goes, no weak men, no girl bosses, no nonsense pandering, none of it, just good old fashioned storytelling. The show is great, credit where it's due. Well, I'm not even gonna address the nonsense in that po in that part of the post, but I will say this, the show, we, we were saying from the beginning that what people consider to be woke, DEI, all this other stuff, it already exists in the X-Men. It's part of the DNA, no pun intended, of their mutation uh, in the stories. This is the kind of stories that X-Men tells, which is why all of that like prejudging and all that other bullshit that was going on didn't matter because this is what the X-Men, th this is who they are as a team, as a character in the comics. The great storytelling is a part of these uh, about these stories and these, these events that the X-Men do. So to think that any of that diversity would affect the quality of the stories was just showing that you do not understand the X-Men at all and you really are not a fan of the X-Men in the first place. 
And then he goes on to say, great show so far, excited for the next episode. Surprise, surprise, something that you might have actually loved and you could have been excited about, you spent a lot of time hating and being angry about it. Here's the big one from a Demion. It has almost 300,000 views from two months ago, which was like right around the time the show was really breaking out and all the advertising was coming out. And it says, Mass Exodus as fans reject X-Men 97 series. Where? Where was the fan rejection at, a Demion? The show wasn't even fully out then. We hadn't really seen a large chunk of the series. We had a lot of promo stuff, some things from articles here and there, but literally, literally nobody was rejecting the show. This was some stupid cultural thing that you guys were pushing online that we told you was false. We told you it was false. You could have just listened to us. That would have made it really easy. They stole her ass again with the whole ass thing, as if that is the entire point of the series is one frame of Rogue's ass. Uh, again, dumb shit. We talked about this already. It uh, goes on to say, Woke Disney demands you accept ugly female characters. There was no demand. None of that. This reactionary shit is dumb. It's dumb. And these the people that make these videos are trying to create a narrative that they can make money off of. That's all this is. I really wish... The, the the ones that are in this community, I'm speaking to you, the ones that are actually able to look from the outside into this, stop supporting people who are scamming you out of their, your time and your mental health. I'm telling you right now, walk away from this stuff. You Again, you don't have to watch me. I'm not telling you like, oh, switch from them to me. I have all the answers. I don't have all the answers. But I'm saying you do not have to participate and this astroturfing, prejudice, hate culture that these channels have created. They don't care about you. They don't care about the culture war. They're not tra trying to change Hollywood. They're not gurus. They're not experts. They're none of these things. And you can simply walk away from it and not have to participate in it ever again. And you would be so much better for it. Because then you could go back to loving things and not looking at things so uh, reductively myopically and being worried about stupid dumb shit that people tell you you should be angry about it's not a healthy environment so i suggest you guys really take a long look at it and decide what you want to do these guys i can't believe this is the second person that i've seen publicly apologize about this um we need more of this we need more accountability we need to see it more consistently and for god's sake stop astroturfing stuff that's the reason why you have to apologize in the first place. It's just so fucking dumb.